screen VCR. Hit the gas, we gon' far. Saw my mom in my dreams. She said, boy, you star. I shed my tears. We faced our fears. Success is near. Amen. She trying to flex for a friend. Yes, sir. Who was he, my gifted family? It's your boy Lance today. You seven into my life, and I'm with my boy. Hey, it's your boy. It's the one and only man, Jay Reloaded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, this is the second video we got going on. Um, So, as you can see in the title, it's titled Things You Shouldn't Do in the Navy. I'm um, not going to hold you. I got a little list. And then, of course, we're going to talk about it, whatever, whatever. Um, So, I think the first thing you should never do in the Navy is never eat where you shit, man. This is something I got to <laughs> learn. <laughs> I'm just going to go straight up. Oh, I don't, man. Like... <laughs> Nah, man, because before the Navy, I'm sure you can relate to this, but mm -hmm. um, in the Navy, before the Navy, I was working at different places, whatever, whatever, whether Whataburger, or, you know, 7-Eleven or just different environments, right? And, you know, there's always that one baddie, that one honey that walks in, you know, as far as she clocks in when you clock out or vice versa. But there might be some times where y'all had the same shift and, you know, shoot your shot. Cool, 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 whatever, whatever. Every time I do it personally, there's always like drama in the workplace and it's just not the best environment. So, of course, what do I do being the headass that I am? Of course, I try to do that in the Navy, on the ship. Now, if she's on a different ship or it's like, obviously, you don't have to see her every day. Then, of course, like you can like freak it how you freak it. But, like, <laughs> man, I would definitely not recommend it. And then, you know. Yeah, it's stay professional, man. You know, it's not real. worth it. It's not worth it. It's not, man, because then, like, say even if things do work out. Eventually, y'all gonna go on deployment, and it's like, y'all not gonna marry, you know what I'm saying? And then you gonna move on to the next one, or she gonna move on to the next one. And then it's like... It's the ratio of women and or, or girls and guys is just, it's, it's not even comparable. It's not even, like, enough. So, you know, one person talking to her, or this specific female, then you gotta think about, it's like 30 more other dudes. Yeah for just this one girl, you know? Yeah, and then like, honestly, just what Thomas said, I was like, okay, realistically speaking, just as much as you see if she got the cakes on her, you know how it is, fellas, like, you used to think <laughs> she got it on her, you know what I'm saying? And just as much as you think she's attractive, there's like 50 other people, depending on like, yeah. whether it's a carrier, like hundreds, you know what I'm saying, or thousands, whatever, whatever, you know, there's people, you got, you know, I'm not saying there's a thing with competition, because you know, if you got it, you got it, if you can like, make it happen, make it happen, but just, yeah. I wouldn't, recommend it that's not the move now if it happens keep it low-key but anyways um uh this is obvious but don't do drugs man like, you don't, yeah. don't 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 waste your time i know there's a thing where everybody got the rumors everybody got their own thing going on but like yo when you do drug tests you're gonna be looking mad goofy you know what i'm saying i know it's some random. people for real it's mad random like even if people are plugged in and they're they try to calculate the time when they do it this and that don't do it i know people who've been doing like years almost done with their contract and they had to like be done with that bro like they're doing a dishonorable discharge they already did three or four years can you imagine doing three or four years that's tough and then you don't even have like you wasted all your time basically you don't it's dishonorable you can't get half of the job that you want to get uh do when you get out don't do it it's not worth it just okay. wait, just wait, just be patient. If that's what you want to do, like, just be patient. Yeah, man, just drink. And if yeah. you don't want to drink, then you got to have that one avenue. Find your thing that, like, works for you, you know what Yeah. I mean? Um, so I got this one. I asked, I asked uh, White this one. And okay. uh, he said, leave the hood at the crib. <laughs> that's what he said. <sighs> now, okay, let me, because he explained properly what he was, uh, what that meant for him. Let me hear that, let me hear that. So, okay, obviously... Be yourself, you know what I'm saying? Don't let anybody change you. But at the same time, there's a certain way how to move when you're at work. Yeah, of course. Of yeah, course. he was basically saying it doesn't matter where you come from, your background. But he was saying, of course, people are going to test you or just in general. But remember to keep your composure. Don't, like, lose yourself Yeah. in front of the workplace. Because, you know, people talk and you don't want people to, like, sabotage and put you in certain situations that you don't deserve to be I, in. I agree. Because just like... I, for us, like our my situation may be just now on a bus. Yeah. We was on a oh, bus right oh. here, and um, <laughs> a certain lady on another ship just butted in and said something rude, and yeah. I wasn't even talking to her, you know. Yeah. But I didn't even react. Like I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, just the, yeah, don't be like okay. 
Yeah, yeah, don't give it attention. No, I'm yeah. not gonna lie, y'all. We did just literally get off work. That's why I'm still yeah. in uniform. We just got off work. Yeah. We got off the bus, and uh, yeah. for those who don't know, like, okay, boom. So you get designated at a certain command. Like, they, the Navy provides transportation, like the bus. They have certain hours. Well, you gonna know when you get there, but yeah. um, to get to work and to get from work, obviously you can get a car, get a car, woo-woo. and uh, this particular time there was a bus strictly. Assigned for another ship. We wasn't aware of that. We just thought it was a ship. Right. Or just thought for the bus, you know. You know. And, you know, haters, this and that. But it's, it's one Navy, right? It's yeah, one team, one fight. Navy, <laughs> you complaining about shit. Anyways, man. Hey, yo, yo, one thing about the Navy, just in life too, man. Like, there's always going to be bullshit, but you got to learn how to maneuver through the yeah, bullshit. You know what I'm saying? There's no even knowledge, man. It's right. right, 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 right. So, that's, that's what to do in the Navy, man. Just to yeah. ignore the bullshit. Right, right. So, yeah, just don't let people change you. Like, you could take yourself out the hood and, you know, you may still have the hood in you, you know what I'm saying? But just yeah. don't let them change you. You know what I'm saying? You, know, yeah. you get it. You get it. Be yourself, yeah. right. you know, and, and, you know, go day by day, but don't get out your body. Right. Yeah. Um, I was told, don't bite the hand that feeds you. So, like, say, for instance, you want to move in a certain rank a certain direction in the navy career whether you do four years 20 years whatever right if someone is allowing you like putting you in a certain position because you know how it is in life like people get cocky and they you know even mm-hmm. i don't know i like to read there's this book called 48 laws of power i know that book that's a good book that is a good book read that book if you have it. and one of the laws i don't know it's one of the first few and they say never outshine the master so like don't ever feel the need to like Oh, I'm in this position now, and it's like bump y'all. Like I'm on now. Like you know, I'm getting my ranks up. I'm getting mm-hmm. paid a certain way now. Like ooh. like no, like you know, you gotta pay tribute, pay homage. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just in life in general. Like, yeah, start from the bottom, and just work your way up. Yeah, just be, be humble. confident, but humble. Yeah. Same time, you know, if someone looking out for you, it's all about who you know too. Right, right. That's what I'm saying. Like definitely in the Navy, it's about who you know. Get connections. Don't be afraid to, you know. You don't got to talk to everyone. I don't, but, yeah, you know, no. <laughs> yeah, I definitely don't. But no, he if, doesn't. You know, if I see someone talking to me and I see, hey, that person um could be a good mentor for me. For real. I'm, I'm going to go up and, you know, approach them and say, hey, would you like to be my mentor? Ooh. You never know. This person might know this person and invite you to here and then yeah. like, got connections. Yeah. Boom. And now imagine you do all that. He do he or she does all that for you, and then you stab them in the back or you know yeah. whatever, whatever. Because people, you gonna see y'all like there's some uh, shysty people in the navy, man. Yeah. Like it's bad. So don't ever switch up on people. <laughs> Bless me. Bless you. Don't, don't never never care all your business too, because yeah, it's gonna go around a ship like <laughs> yeah. Like no, we can talk about that. Yeah, real talk. Like okay, definitely. Now this is from a person. Like imagine you're the person like. You're coming from wherever you come from. You don't have nobody from a school that's joining you at the command. Like you're straight up on your solo dolo. Obviously, you know how it is. First day of school, first day of work, first day of whatever. Like you know, you're, it's nerve wracking. You don't really know what to expect. But once you do start to accumulate those connections, start to meet those friends, you got to be wary of exactly you know what you tell people and who knows who because you know, like Thomas said, you don't want your business out there and. That's why I was telling you don't eat where you shit because you can uh, mess with this one girl and you don't even know this girl is connected to this person, this person connected to this person. It's all like a bunch of mess, you know? It's so, best just not to, bro. Like, bro, just on some do real it. shit. <laughs> and ladies, you too. Just, just play your role, man. Like, get your calls up. You know what I'm saying? Nah, real stuff. Get your calls up, you know? Right. Understand your uh, job, whatever job, whether undes, OS, IT, ET, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? Get your calls up, understand, and ask for a mentor, like Thomas said, like, understand your chain of command, like, whatever division you're assigned to, and volunteer for stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, just just know that stay under the looking, radar. Yeah, stay under the radar, but people look, like, your chain of command or the yeah. division, people look, because people say, I'm quiet, but I'm really not. I really... You can be quiet, though. I do at work. But, yeah, yeah, Because yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just observing, just taking in what I need to do, and I'm really just trying to get out of there and do my work. Yeah, on. yeah. But... But I I hear and you know you gotta like peep and just 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 look have, look look alive you know yeah just, just so. people looking and they looking to see you know are you responsible enough 
to do a certain job or they're going to put you here or there in positions that other people might not be because they're not on your level or you know, taking care of business. So keep that in mind too. That's real. Um, another yeah. thing uh, is don't forget where you came from. You know what I'm saying? Like, remember why you're there, you know, like yeah. the reason why you're there. Like everybody got their own reasons, whether they want to escape from their house, not escape, but you know, like you got problems back at home or, you know, you want to boss up. The reason why I joined, like I'm doing music, I'm doing this YouTube thing. I got other things going on the side. So it's just like, I, I felt like the Navy was going to help elevate everything. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure Thomas, you, you told me your yeah. reason in the other video. Yeah. And um, yeah, no, like just remember why you're there. There's going to be some times like in a school boot camp, even in the uh, every excuse me, everyday life of being in the Navy, like whether underway deployments, there's going to be times where it's like, man, this isn't worth it. Or you feel it like it's not worth it, but mm -hmm. just understand, like look at the bigger picture. You know what I'm saying? It's all going to pay off in the uh, long run, whether four years, 20 years, et cetera. You know what I'm saying? Like, also be on time. Like, yeah, they, they put emphasis on like, never be late for real. Yeah, it's going to happen, but like try, happen, but try your best to really like hit that hope for real. They put emphasis on that. Like crazy. Like I was late. One time, and they had a whole meeting, like for me and like whoever else was late. Like mm -hmm. they they don't play about you yeah. know being on time sometimes. Sometimes I mean, but you want to be on time. Yeah, I know that sounds cliche, but yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I guess this could be some random shit, but never look like you're not doing something. Like per yeah. they have this thing called perception is reality in the Navy. So if it looks like you're sleeping, you're sleeping. Even you could be the most wide awake person on the ship. But like, if you look like you're not working, you're not working. Of course, there's like, I'm not saying you gotta be a robot and sweep and clean every like single moment in the day. But like, you know, play, you know how to, you know, like you know how to maneuver, like play it off. That's like, a little bit. Yeah, like bit. if you see chiefs or so-and-sos all up and down the P-ways and like all up through the ship, like just move accordingly, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? like. Play smart. Don't don't be a goofy out here because they gonna find you something to do, mm -hmm. or it's just gonna look bad. Because then, like we were talking about, word spread, and then like it's gonna hit your chain of command. And then once you start doing watches, they are gonna make you do double watches because mm -hmm. you know they look at perceive you as lazy. You know what I'm saying? So like, just make sure you play your cards right. Make stuff. it look like you you busy or doing something or yeah, know what you're doing basically. Yeah, for real. Just just walk like you know what you're doing. You know. Some people don't know that though. Even in the Navy, like a lot of yeah, people, people be looking goofy. Too. Yeah, they be I'd like, be like why do I got double watch? Well, <laughs> I'd be like, man, you don't know how to play it for real. Yeah. Is there anything else? Because I'm pretty much done with my list. Is there anything else you want to tell them never mm. to do in the Navy, not to do in the Navy? Uh, you better say some wild shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of something good and juicy. It's, it's. Uh, I mean, it's okay if you can't think of it. Uh, we can like make a part two or something. Like right, we're gonna make a part two. Where, where, where? Well, shoot, yo. Like I said, this is things you not to do in the navy. Things you shouldn't do in the navy. Um, we're definitely gonna make a video of things you should do in the navy. So if you like this one and you want more of this type of content, comment triple A's, like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, it's OSSN, Tanser Doctor. I'm with the Brody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. J Reloaded, baby. What's your uh, thing now? Undead Seaman. That's who I am. Yeah, C N or yeah. Seaman uh, Thomas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seaman Thomas. And we gone, man. All right. I need you. I need Baba. Word. I don't like what she does this. Uh, I don't like what she does that. Like, when you gonna call me back? I'm trying to turn the track. Oh, oh, oh. Saying nothing, wop wop, that's all I hear when she's on my phone. Goes in one ear and out.